Here's a little task to find the center of rotation of an object which is being rotated, but I've hidden the actual center of rotation. Now it would be visible in the algebra view if I hadn't just sort of like uh, narrowed that down, but I'm going to hide it. This is a useful classroom technique. Pop the algebra window out and you get a separate free floating window, uh, which you could put on a different screen or something. So I can see the center of rotation on that, but you can't. And if we leave this spinning, it's not clear where the center is. You might be able to guess, but let's look at a way of actually working it out visually. I'm going to draw some line segments between corresponding points at A to A dashed. Let's just do B to B dashed. Does that help? No, they don't seem to cross over any way useful, but they are actually chords on a circle as this thing span all the way around. So if I perpendicular bisect those chords like that and like that, they will cross at a point which is the center. And if I show you the center of this thing spinning around, you can see that lo and behold, it is that center of rotation right there. Uh, and if you don't believe me, I'll pop this back in and you can see the center of rotation is at four comma one. Hooray.